Welcome to the Bargain Bin Showdown. We've gathered together five of the cheapest GPUs on Amazon to battle head to head to see which card will reign supreme. To qualify for this intense benchmarking competition, each GPU must meet the following strict standards. 1. Each card must cost under $20 US. 2. Each card must be readily available on Amazon. 3. Each card must support at least DirectX 11. 4. Each card must have at least 1 GB of memory. So let's run through the lineup and take a look at each of our promising contestants. First up, it's the AMD Radeon HD 7570. Next up, it's the Nvidia Quadro 600. Next, it's the AMD Radeon R5 240. Next up, it's the Nvidia GeForce GT 610. Last but not least, it's the AMD Fire Pro V4900. The NVIDIA NVS315 was slated to participate, however, after failing to complete multiple benchmark tests, it was disqualified. Now, let's put each of our remaining contestants through five different benchmark tests to see how they stack up. First up, it's 3D Mark 06. Running at 720p in the lowest settings, some of the cards had a tough time getting through the newer versions of 3D Mark, so we stuck with 3D Mark 06. Looking at the results, the Fire Pro V4900 comes out on top, with the HD 7570 not far behind. The Quadro 600 edges out the R5 240 for third place, while the GT 610 trails the group. Now let's take a look at some of the other benchmarks and see if the results stay the same. Next up, it's Unigen Superposition running at 720p and the low preset. Looking at the results, the V4900 is once again in first, while the HD 7570 takes a solid second. Interestingly with this test, the R5 240 now passes the Quadro 600 to take third place. The GT610 still trails behind. Next up, it's Graphics Bench 5, running the Aztec Ruins test using DirectX 11 mode. Looking at the results shows a very similar picture to the last benchmark test. It's not looking too good for the GT610 unfortunately. I guess that's not surprising, as the Nvidia 10 series cards have always had a reputation for being somewhat low performers. Next up, we've got Resident Evil 6 benchmark tool running at 720p and the lowest settings. Results here show a very similar breakdown in scores to what we saw with Graphics Bench. Each card maintains their rankings, let's see if anything shakes up in the next test. For the next test, it's CSGO Benchmark Map, running at 720p and the lowest settings. With this test, rather than just looking at arbitrary scores, we can see what that performance equates to in real world frame rates. Comparing each card's FPS, we can see the V4900 dominate the group yet again. The HD 7570 places a solid second as usual, and the R5 240 edges out again over the Quadro 600. So there you have it. Congratulations to the AMD Fire Pro V4900. Currently the best GPU to be had on Amazon for under $20. Now, would I recommend anyone go out and buy one of these cards right now? Not unless you really have to. Cards with only one gigabyte of memory are really gonna be limited going forward. By expanding your budget by just another 10 to $20, far more powerful options begin to open themselves up. Cards with two gigabytes or even four gigabytes of memory are possible. Cards like the Nvidia GeForce GT 732 gigabyte and the AMD Radeon R7 454 gigabyte can both be found for under $40 US. That being said, please feel free to leave a comment with your thoughts on cheap GPUs and thanks for watching.